NBA 2K18 tutorial number 31. Shout out to the legend Dirk Nowinski. So today is going to be about defense and I will be teaching you guys how to execute defensive schemes on 2K18 specifically. We're going to be talking about stick skills defense and most importantly we're going to be talking about a lot of defensive settings. So in 2K18 there are essentially two levels of defense. There's your initial defense, and when that breaks, you get to trigger your help defense. That's just how you play. Now, it's important that you need to understand, you need to accept that screw up on defense will happen. Even if you do well, the shots are gonna go in. Just aim for 55% success rate. So hold the other guy to 45%. So initial defense in 2K is all about stick skills. That's when you use your left stick, right stick, uh, R2 and L2 to help yourself on defense. But once that does break down, and it will, help defense is about stick skills plus your defensive settings, all right? So that's what you need to have success on 2K18 defense. So all defensive footage used today are from online gameplay. So whatever you see, it's uh, user versus user for today. So I'm very excited for this tutorial. Get your pen and paper ready, and let's get right into it. So first things first, 2K18 initial defense is about you user controlling on ball, off ball, and contest. And you're gonna be doing this with the left stick, right stick, left trigger, or right trigger, or L2, R2. And if you want to review these concepts, make sure you go watch tutorial number 33 and number 36 from the all tutorial playlist. So you can see these clips where uh, help defense is rarely triggered. It's because I did good stick skills defense. So you can see this is a good right stick pin into a good user contest. He tried to go baseline, we pin him off and that's a shutdown. So that's one good defensive position using stick skills only. Here, once again, solid right stick post defense. I decided to pay the pole myself, pin off his uh, spin. He tries to reverse fade away, we close that down. Lots of good right stick at the end. I use triangle or jump to contest it and also shut it down. Once again, all stick skills. Same thing, he chucks it into the paint. This is a good straight right stick contest. Didn't jump, didn't want to foul, and beat is a good defender. He helps me shut it down. But rarely do defensive possessions play out that simply. So you're gonna need some advanced 2K18 defense and that's where stick skills and defensive settings come in. And pretty much these are what you rely on once your initial defense breaks down. And, and I guarantee you it will break down. That's just how the game works. So essentially the settings simply assist you by controlling where the help comes from and a good positioning by the help defenders. Never get confused as to like, oh, settings is gonna help me stop everything. They don't, stick skills does. It's just settings gives you a better chance when your stick skills break down initially, the settings help you with good help defense so you can use your stick skills once again to pluck the holes that was created from the original break, okay? So these are the settings you need. Uh, make sure you set the rebounds to crash the glass because offensive rebounding is very strong this year. As for the aggression, always change it to play physical because the fouls don't really matter online because it's five minutes long and offline you don't get that many fouls unlike previous years. Uh, you can just see the full settings at the end of the video but these are the basics so help and no rotation for everything. And uh, go over for everything, catch hedge for every screen so center all other players, go over for everybody, uh, force direction baseline. And uh, I've also uh, created moderate help from the guys I can't shoot. So because I'm facing New Orleans, so Dante Cunningham can't shoot, so I gave him moderate. And Tony Allen absolutely cannot shoot, so I put it on leave him. So I know these are my designated help defenders. So that's important, right? Because now I know my help is coming from either Tony Allen guy or Dante Cunningham's guy. So you can see here, this is a good defensive position where nothing bad happens. I did a good over there by Bayless, just a down, good catch hedge by Embiid, just down the drive and the row. They forced a tough pass, really crowded situation, no bricks, good defense. He gets the rebound back, but it's still really crowded. We were able to rotate once again. Once again, still no bricks because no bricks are created. Settings are holding up, stick skills are doing good. That's a bump, right stick, physical steal, gets the ball. Solid defensive possession. We're really good actually because we got two points in transition too. So that's perfect defensive possession. But like, like I said, rarely happens. You can see here now, I did a good over. Computer did a good over. Bayless, he goes over the cousin screens. And there's a good catch hedge by M Bleed here, controlled by me. Shuts down the row. He runs the second screen again, this time with cousins. Still nothing, but I made a mistake here. You see how I was controlling Ben Simmons and I wanted to help off AD because I didn't really mind his corner free, but I overdid it, which gave AD too much room. So this was good stick skills, good settings, but poor user help decision by me because that drive was shut down anyways. I overhelped and I paid for it. So this is how defense works. You can see here again, he brings it up. I'm starting to go on ball with Bayless 
and I got caught up on the screen so I got jammed up by AD so you can see me immediately I have switched to the corner guy Computer Ben Simmons played great catch catch here because I've started to catch catch even when it's Anthony Davis I'm bringing the help myself with Embiid Simmons shuts down the drive and the roll so now I know it's time to close out on Cousins myself so I run back out to Cousins use the control with the right stick so I started off this defensive possession with a mistake but the good AI settings help me out with Simmons and I actually help myself in the end by user going out and contest with MP on Cousins. Good defensive position, good crash board settings, good box out, forced the foul on AD, got the ball back. So here, he messed up. So he messed up the screen here, he went too early. So when he messes up, there are no breaks because he's not breaking me, right? Because he messed up. So with no real breaks, I can just use stick skills and you can see my stick skills and settings hold up here. He's not finding anything. The rotations are solid. The settings are solid. The stick skills and fundamentals are solid. I see that pass. I switch back to MP, user control, triangle jump, block it. Great defensive possession. Here you can see it again. He brings it up off the ball after I scored. He uh, got me caught up there, so that's a mistake by me. I couldn't really completely get over it because Bayless is not a very good defender, so I know it's helped defense time. So you can see this is why you want good defenders on your team. Look at AI Roberto Covington here, just shutting all that down. He shuts down the drive and the catch hedge, and he also can. I'm playing contain myself, but look at Roberto Covington just getting the ball himself. That was great computer defense by him. That's why you want good defenders. So here you can see again, computer Bayless is going to get ca caught up in that uh, cousin screen, so that's a break. So I've switched to uh, Joel to cover for the break. And look at Robert playing very aggressive help because it's Tony Allen on leave him settings like I showed you guys earlier. And you can see Robert helped us shut that down. So we're able to make him go back to regular offense where he's not creating any breaks. So I, I know he wants to chuck it in the Cousins here. And you can see Embiid on the physical settings. This is play physical, so he plays the basket lane. That's a computer poke that helped me out. Got him to catch it out of bounds and we get the ball back. Great! Play physical aggression by computer playing the passing lane. So you can see here again, he works the ball around, I'm guarding on ball. He tries to get in the screen, I go over it nicely. Moving screen, I go over it again, so that's good on ball defense. He swings it to AD. Uh, Simmons is a bit slow here, so he got blown by, so I know it's help time. So I'm going to bring it off uh, Covington because he can't shoot. But this is a AI Covington because it's moderate on uh, Cunningham, right? so that's great. Computer help got me into position. I switched back to Covington when he shoots to use RS to contest, stick skill contest, another lockup possession. So in comparison, like you saw all these good clips by uh, Covington as computer there, helping me position himself very well. Look at Stauskas here, who's a bad defender, give up that back cut easily. So this is why you want good defenders on your team, even when it's CPU. So here he gets me with the six sack. So he's six sacking with Jameer Nelson, got me online there, but you can see uh, because we got to leave him on Tony Allen, Luawe or Luawu <laughs> comes over and help. Good position. I switched to Luawe myself and get the block. But because he got me in good position with the leave him settings, so computer helped me with settings there. So here's another game against the Blazers who have more shooters, so I can only pretty much offer help off of the power forward. So in this case, it's uh, Ed Davis and Ronley, and I can't really bring any wing help because they have good shooters on the wing with Dame and CJ. And uh, Harkless is a decent shooter along with Aminu. So you can see me do good user on body here. So this shuts down everything. So this is what I'm talking about. If you got that six skills, see, there's no breaks. If you don't have any breaks, you don't need your settings to kick in. You still need good settings, obviously, but let's see, no, no real breaks here because I shut down that initial drive on ball and I get him again on ball with Simmons myself. So I've decided to uh, defend him on ball again because I feel confident here. So he's just trying to force it down. And then I bring a little bit of help with MP just to make him panic. Switch back to Simmons, use the contest, and that locks it up because he tried to refuse to paint. So here, like I said earlier with the settings, I can only help up with the power forward. So I'm going to do really aggressive uh, catch hedge. So all of the settings were the same except for the help, which is coming from moderate power forward. I get caught up in the screen, but look at that power forward blitz I did with Simmons there. Got the poke, got the steal, got the ball back. So this is the scheme I've decided to use because I can only bring help off of power forwards against Portland. So I'm doing really aggressive help. So always catch hedge, power forward blitz, make him rotate the ball, challenge the shot myself, get the rebound. So you can see it again, plenty of catch hedge, power forward blitz. Every single time he tries to run a pick and roll, he works the ball around. Or when he drives, I'm switching off ball, bringing that power forward help, make him rotate it, make him make decision. Physical defense once again there, and the aggression kicking in, getting me that nice steal, working ball around, JJ Redick, swish bomb. That's Beautiful defense leading to easy offense. 
And if you're gonna blitz off a of power forwards like this, just make sure you do do the contest yourself at the end. You can see that every time I blitz, I'm not letting computer do the contest. Because user contest is still the best at the end of the day. And here I decided to play some on-ball defense. I messed up, but look at that. That's a computer power forward blitz. So with a manual closeout by me, but that was done by uh, AI Ben Simmons there. So that was beautiful. So the settings still work even with uh, Simmons. And here's a hard power forward blitz by computer uh, Okafor. So the big and Amir Johnson, we get the steal. And obviously when you blitz so hard, sometimes you force rotations. And here I didn't mind leaving Evan Turner open on the blitz. So I blitz here, TJ McConnell made a mistake. Computer TJ McConnell, because he didn't need to help there. But I kind of rotated late, so maybe. But Evan Turner open free ball, I don't mind too much. But he hits it, so it's fine. Here you can see a good initial uh, right stick ride defense, smart double team by me. Great moderate off-ball defense on Vonley. So we were able to get the block from Telelevic Tele because we were playing off-ball on uh, Vonley there. Easy defense, least, sorry, oh, good defense leads to easy offense. Another two points. And this is just a really good uh, user on-ball defense by Della Madova. And a solid uh, fawn maker showing off help on Nurkic who we're also playing moderate off of because he's just center. Like you always want to play either leave him or moderate on any center you face anyways. So you will get help off of them. So you see I'm getting all these help from fawn maker off Nurkic. He didn't take the mid range there which forced a very very tough corner shot. Give us the advantage. And here you can see me play a good on ball defense twice. Then show off of a Nurk and I use the user help off ball to get the steal. So he's trying to get in there, he can't. We're showing off of Nurkic a lot to cover the paint. He gets the drive, but I bring a tenant who comes over himself. We get the steal, play physical defense, easy steals. But family, understand no matter how hard you try, you will fail on defense. So the key is just to keep the percentages at around 55%. So now I'm just gonna show you all the, all the bad clips, so all the clips where I failed. So this is why it's the contest, but Damian Lillard online is just really good because it's on low difficulty, so he's just gonna hit it. So you can see here, like these are good contestants, but if they make it, like they're gonna make it, okay? And sometimes I know it's frustrating because 2K has clipping. You can see uh, Damian just go through Brockton there, through clipping, even though Brockton is standing there. But that's just how it is. And here you see Jonas trying to force the post. I should have jumped there, but that's still a solid contest. But tough shots will be made online because there's low difficulties. And at times, if you play that physical defense, there's also a little bit of foul issue because that's just what the aggression does once in a while. So, but that's something you can live with because it gets you steals, right? So that's just a balancing act. So here you can do, you can see me make mistakes. So bad first step on body, give him a layup. And uh, there's always a downside on playing poor AI defenders. Also, this is just Bayless completely getting crushed. Like I'm in good position, but he just gets turned because Bayless is a bad defender, right? So that's also something you have to live with. You're just gonna play the percentage. If you play good habits, good help defense, good settings, and you run my offense, you're gonna have, you know, like a pretty solid offense. If you can help the other guy, hold the other guy to 40 to 45%, you're gonna win with my offense because my offense scores at like, I don't know, 60%, 70% rate. So that's essentially the name of the game. That's what you're trying to do. You want a solid defense, competing against a very, combined with a very, very good offense, so you give yourself you know, the favors and numbers so you don't end up losing the game. But don't ever get frustrated with defense, just play your game, play your settings, play your habits, all right? And here are the full defensive settings if you guys are interested in watching this. Uh, for my team guys, I did find a link, so I'll pin the comment for every video from now on. You'll be able to see it. I'll pin the comment on every video where you'll see me give you the link of the my team playbook. So whenever I do money plays from now on, or when I do schemes, you can just refer back to that document and find the plays that will be on the my team playbook. They're still similar, even though when 2K updates it, but I guess having that playbook, you know, document where you search through it, it's gonna help you a lot. So you can see the defensive settings I used here. This is the similar set of settings that I showed you guys in that, sorry, 40 minute video I did earlier in the year, but the concepts are similar so you can see it here and the clips today showed you what execution of it looks like. But never get it twisted, defensive settings does not help you shut down the other team if you're a really bad stick skills defender. If you're giving up drives, you're gonna lose, okay? You need the stick skills to, you know, limit the breaks or limit the speed and uh, occasion of the breaks. The less of the breaks or the less fat, the less slow, the slower the breaks and the less they happen, the more likely the settings are gonna help bail you out. All right, and Seth Collins look very evil there. So this is tutorial number 41. I know you guys know that I took a long time off last year because the game was pretty bad in 17. That game, I got up to 42 tutorials and I stopped. 
this year I'm already at 41 and I feel like I can probably do 41 more. Would I? I'm not very sure. Uh, holidays are coming up so we'll see. But will I go away for 6 months? Most likely not because 2K18 is way better than 2K17. Like obviously I have my complaints, I have my worries but that's just how I am. I, lo I, I love this game. Alright. My biggest compliment to the game this year is obviously I've already done 41 tutorials and I didn't want it to stop. Last year I did maybe 36 tutorials and I already wanted to stop. And once I got to 42 I just couldn't do it anymore because the game was so bad. This year not so much. I can probably get up to 100 so that's a shout out to 2K for doing well. 2K16 I think I got up to 100 too so 2K16 was also a good game. It, it has a lot of problems but it had a lot of innovations so that helped me with my content creating. 16 was not as good as a game as 17. It's just the leap that 17 took from 16 wasn't as high. So I couldn't really create, you know, newer content for 17. But I appreciate you guys and thanks for sticking with me, even though I went away for a little bit. I'll always be here doing 2K videos as long as I can. Not very sure about next year. Life is getting busier, so we'll see. Trying my best to keep this channel alive. Not a lot of, you know, people that like to watch tutorials, but uh, I don't mind too much. I appreciate you guys' support. So as always, thanks for coming by. Uh, look at these settings. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comment section. You know, you guys, I read every comment. I can't answer all of them, but I try to read all of them. So just let me know what you think. Uh, as always, thanks for coming. Uh, this weekend will be a new scheme coming. A more quick hitting scheme that's designed to open up free pointers initially and then lets you flow back into a freelance of your choice using branches which is a concept i haven't really done this year so that's what we're gonna move on to this weekend hope you guys enjoyed this as always thanks for coming i'll see all of you next time